Hi, this is Jacob with of WindowVistaRepair.com, and today we're going to be showing you how to repair the error code 39, 31, 32, and 19. Now, this primarily will affect people who are trying to play DVDs and you can't get the DVD player to actually work or play any movies for you, or uh, the CD uh, player, as a matter of fact. And it's not an uncommon issue, and this works for Windows XP, Vista, and, and Windows 7. We did test it on there, and we have a few individuals who have actually commented below and have said it does work for them too as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to re edit the registry. Uh, please read our disclaimer before you do anything. Um, editing the system registry can cause issues. So um, just be aware of that. Reg, edit. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. It's actually pretty simple to do because we have and are going to show you the exact location that you need to go to. So let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be under the H key local machine and then under system and then you're going to want to go over to the current control set and you're going to see that there's very similar uh, deals here too as well file file and folder name so just be aware of that and then under control we also have the text guide too for you to follow along with as well here and let's see current control set we need to go to class now and then the exact entry we want is going to start with the 4D36E965 and you're going to see here that there's plenty of very similar entries in fact you may have multiple uh, E965 here so what you'll have to do is you'll just have to ensure that the whole entire string going all the way across is the correct one that you want and now I'm going to go ahead and just pop in there just go ahead and highlight the folder and let's go ahead and take a look in here it's alright Just hover over the folder itself really and here you're gonna see that there's the lower filters and some of you will also have the upper filters and you want to double check to make sure that you have one or the other or both is what we need to do is we actually just need to right click and then delete it and then confirm the deletion and same with the upper filters and so what's gonna happen is uh, from there you're gonna have to reboot and Windows is actually gonna go ahead and remake these uh, folders anew when, when you reboot your computer so we're not really doing anything big at all and it's what's happening is is the drivers just aren't loading up properly and it's not as I said it's not an uncommon issue I've dealt with this hundreds of times well, I shouldn't say hundreds but you know a few dozen times over the course of several years and uh, this little trick seems to work uh, very very well and we have something like 200 comments or uh, something along those lines on here just uh, of people saying hey it worked for them and everything so feel free to check it out hey if it works for you we do have a donate button um, feel free to donate it's not required to in any way um, but uh, um, hey if it helps you out great um, just remember that editing the registry can cause issues so just be sure that when you delete the lower and upper filters you're deleting it in the exact correct same folder um, that we mentioned here and that is it I hope you enjoyed it hope it helps take care